Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute Easter basket using an old cardboard box and a few supplies from our sponsor, Papermart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. It's so easy, it's so inexpensive. Won't you make one? Let's go to the table, I'll show you how it's done. All right, the first thing you need to do to make your basket is to find a cardboard box and um, just kind of cut oh, about three inches from the bottom all the way around. And then I left a space. I kind of um, cut up a couple strips to form this handle. And then I'm going to glue these two ends together so that it comes around to make a nice handle for my basket. Um, so if you don't have a box that's tall enough, you can always you know, add on some cardboard or ribbon or whatever you want to make your handle. So you just want to pinch that for a few seconds to let it um, to make sure it, it holds while the glue cools. Then we're going to take some of this twisted paper cord and untwist it. So you're going to need probably a four foot length and a three foot length. I basically need one length that's the full length of my handle and I'm going to need one that's going to wrap around my box. All right, so I have the shorter piece for my handle and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to glue it down on the top all the way around and then I'm going to work the ribbon around. So you can go ahead and you can probably put all this, you know, this bead of glue all down at once because this part is going to go really quickly. This is a pretty thin um, material so just be careful that you don't um, burn yourself. This is a really nice crepey texture. It's really reminiscent of um, of Easter and you know crafts you might have done as a child. And now, if I tip this a little bit, I think you can see on the inside of my box, I'm going to be wrapping this around like this, making it meet in the center, and then I will be gluing it down. You may need to snip it from time to time as you go, just to you know make it form around. But I would try to. Um, I would try to work it without snipping it. So just bend all those bits of ribbon around and secure it with some glue. And uh, I'll be back as soon as that step is done. Now that our ribbon is glued on there, we're going to glue the, uh, see, you can see where I snipped it so that I could glue it to the inside. We're going to glue down these flaps on each side. And then we're going to use the other piece that we cut and untwisted to cover the edges of our box. And the reason I chose this beautiful teal is because it's going to make the orange carrot favor boxes that we'll be making in our next video really stand out. I'm going to start a little bit from the edge. I want to line up my um, ribbon -y, my paper ribbon here, to the, to the bottom of my basket so I have a little bit to roll over the edge. I'm just going to put a little glue there to get started. And I want to keep stretching it as I go to make sure I will have that little bit of paper to wrap over there. I'm going to snip it right there, right where it comes to that corner. And um, as I go, I just want to make sure that after I've got the sides down that I can roll that over and glue it. So you want to proceed going around the entire box with your ribbon and glue. And now I'm going to start rolling over the edges to glue towards the inside. So make sure you put a little snip on either side of the handles. And you have to be kind of careful if you're using hot glue because you don't want to burn yourself. So if you can see here what I'm doing is I'm just going to get a little bit of glue right next to the edge right there. And just fold everything down very, very carefully. So you want to do that all the way around the box as well the edges glued over. It's going to look like this. It's much neater looking. Now you want to grab some of your green corrugated paper. And if you have fringing scissors, you're going to want to use them here. Simply snip every few inches and you're going to make a nice long strip of fringe. If you don't have fringing scissors, you can use regular scissors. It'll just take more, uh, more snips. And this is going to give us a really pretty trim on the edge of our basket. And the nice thing about this is you're not going to have a bunch of loose Easter grass all over the place. So after you've cut a, a strip, just kind of slice that off. It's very easy to cut this stuff. I love this paper. And I'll show you what I mean about how pretty these colors are together. See, don't, don't those, those colors just look great? All right, so what I'm going to do is put this inside my box. And I want to uh, have the grass kind of flopping over the edge. I'm going to use some more hot glue. And I feel very awkward here. I feel like my, I feel like that, that handle's in my way. 
I'm gonna reach in there, I guess. And I'm gonna add some glue right along the edge and just stick the grass in. And you wanna go all the way around the box and fill it in with more strips of the cut grass. About two strips of the cut grass fills this in really nicely. And if you have more cut, then you can actually go in and throw another layer in, just like that, to fill in your basket a little bit more. Just glue it down really well with your hot glue. All right, to get a nice full piece for the bottom, what I'm gonna do is just kind of um, roughly cut around my box, leaving oh, about an inch and a half on each side. And then, I am going to, I'm gonna cut a little bit off the edge here and I'm gonna fringe around each edge. And this will give me a nice, um, a nice bottom. It will cover up all of that, all of that brown box looking stuff on the bottom and um, look really professional. So just go around every side and fringe it even on the side where the uh, paper is, you know, going in the same direction as your scissors. You're gonna go all the way around, fringe every side, and you're gonna end up cutting the corners out, okay? Your paper should look like this, and hopefully it should fit inside of your box fairly well. If not, we might need to adjust it a little bit. I think we're gonna be all right. All right, so pull that back out, put some glue on the bottom once you're sure that you can get it in there. It's all right if it's a little big, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just slide it on in there and scrunch it around until it fits. Make sure you keep that fringe on the sides popping out so that it goes over the edges. Just kind of fluff it around, scrunch it and fluff it and make it all pretty. Look at that, it's so pretty. And then I have this other little piece here that I think I might maybe scrunch up and just set right in there in the middle. And there we have this Easter filled basket that is not going to um, leave grass all over our house. I just put a little bit of glue on that piece just to secure it. And that's nice because I hate picking up all that, uh, all that grass at the end of the Easter season. So then if you want to embellish this, bot, this basket anymore, you could um, add some flowers or some ribbon. And uh, here is what we're gonna make next time, these cute little carrot favors that are, that are gonna sit in your box and be so adorable this Easter. You can send them to your grandkids or your kids. So we're gonna make that in our next project. But um, let's uh, grab some supplies and embellish this basket a little bit more. To embellish our basket, I simply took some of this um, raffia ribbon and wrapped it around my handle just to give it a little bit of, um, oh, just a little bit of interest because it was kind of plain just being all blue. And then I decided that these cute foam flowers from Paper Mart would be gorgeous on the edges of our basket as well. So what you want to do is grab a pair of wire cutters and cut off um, a couple of the little blooms. You can do two or three on the side. And they have wires on them, which are kind of handy to anchoring them in, to anchor them in. And then you are gonna wanna have a little bit of hot glue underneath them just to glue them down. I love the hot glue. This takes a second to hold it while it dries. And then put a couple on the other side. And that's all there is to it, making a beautiful basket using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.